gosh, let's get started because I've been excited about this since it came together in my head. <laughs> and we are using the Stamparatus today. And, you know, what's funny is I have lost the Stamparatus multiple times. And, you know, then you're like, um, well, I guess I'll get along without it. I, I did before. But um, there are some really great things you can do with the Stamparatus that just makes life a little bit easier. So I would like to stamp um, some leaves in the same exact place on two different pieces of vanilla cardstock. So that is why I'm using the Stamparatus because I want them to line up. So I am going to, I put washi tape on, on mine so that when I line up a piece of cardstock, I can line it up on the washi tape and always know where it goes. And then we've got our magnets here. Now you helped choose what I am using today and I am excited about what you picked. Although I was a little bit disappointed that um, that we didn't get to do the apples. <laughs> but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We're going to do the apples anyway, just another day. <laughs> so you picked soft seedlings. And back in July, I made a card um, using the soft seedlings. And it kind of went, for me, viral. You know, how things go. Um, there are There are demonstrators who who go viral in my opinion all the time <laughs> and I'm just on occasion well this was um, the card I made with this went viral for me and I do love it but you know how hard it is for me to not do a card that has fall fall colors for leaves oh my gosh it's so hard but today I'm going to use old olive and garden green because you chose the Regal's colors, uh, and so those are the two colors I chose, and I chose not to go the the fall leaf route. I chose to go a green leaf route. So as you can see, and I should have explained as I went, but I was talking, I am just laying my leaf down where I'm going to want it on my cardstock, and now I'm going to pick that up on my uh, platform or my... Um, window what I can't think <laughs> but then I'm going to use my colors and I'm going to start with my garden green I'm just going to ink that up hi Sandy good to see you here and sometimes it's nice like especially when you're inking up just to have something um, that brings that up a little bit so you're not at a weird angle so we're going to take our leaf now and we're going to ink it up and stamp it over here and look at the detail on there. I love that it shows the veins and everything. So then I'm going to take this away and I'm going to grab my um, chamois. My, all my chamois are super dirty, but they ring out clean when they're clean. They're just stained. So now I'm going to wipe this off. And it kind of, the chamois allows um, for, for washing and drying kind of at the same time. And then we're going to do the same thing here with Old Olive. So let me get this back into place. Remember, for my purposes here, I wanted to um, get my leaf stamped in the same place on two different pieces. And it might, hopefully it'll make more sense shortly. Um, when we're getting this put together. So now I've got my old olive leaf. Oh, I can't close that thing. All right, then we're going to do the same thing. One of the things I love about the Stamparatus is that you, if you miss, hi Sharon, if you miss, like if you lift it and go, oh, look at that, I missed, and I didn't do that on purpose, I promise. You can put it right back down and get it inked up again um, like you want it. So the Stamparatus is really nice for that. I have customers who actually use their Stamparatus on all of their stamping so that if there's a boo-boo, they can just go back and stamp it again. Um, I don't have the patience for that, for that, I guess, probably because I'm on the run so much. It's like, nope, I got to get this done. Um, for me, it's probably just as easy to 
uh, stamp or cut the paper and stamp it again. I don't know. But we've got this these great leaves now. You can see the, the garden green one was pretty inky, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt our project at all. So now we're going to uh, leave the old olive one alone. And we're going to bring in the trimmer. And I am going to cut this leaf into strips. So I'm going to turn it so that the, the top is to my right. And I'm going to I'm going to cut off a half inch here. And then I'm going to cut off a quarter inch. And I'm going to save that quarter inch piece and set that aside. Then I'm going to cut off a half an inch again and set that over here and a quarter inch and set that over here and a half inch. You get the idea. Hi, Brenda. Good to see you. I always love that my Canadian friends come and watch. So I'm just trimming off um, half inch and quarter inch increments here and these I can use on another one. So if I stamp the old olive one twice, I could actually do this a second time. But for time purposes, I'm not going to do that today. Okay, now, one of the things we have in our catalog are these foam strips. Now, they come on long cards with, you know, lots of foam strips on them. But I'm just going to start with the top one, and I'm going to put a section of foam strip on the back of the quarter inch strip of cardstock that I cut here. And then we are going to add this on to our card about, you know, we're, we're lining it up. We want it to line up in the space that it really would belong. So then it's popped up in that different color. So now a couple of things that I'll make note of here. Um, it's hard for the for me on camera to line it up exactly. So you see it might be off just a hair. Um, but you get the idea of what this is supposed to look like as we go. So now the next strip, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to take, just cut off a little bit of that one. And then we'll pop this up. Yeah, I know, Carla. <laughs> you should be able to kind of to kind of um, see where this is going. But you can also imagine that uh, the Stamparatus was kind of important because I wanted to be able to make sure that especially from left to right, um, it was going to be the right size and it would line up properly. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to have a couple examples on my blog on Friday that are going to be quite a bit different with the same idea. And for those, the Stamparatus will be even more critical. So, um, you'll have to check that out on Friday. It's usually Friday night, right? We'll see if I get it any earlier. Last night's, I was like, oh my gosh, I got my blog post done just after nine o'clock. <laughs> by the way, that card that I blogged about yesterday, uh, last night was super cool too. So now you can see how this is this is coming together. So you've got the little bit darker um, uh, garden green and then the yellow, more yellowy olive, old olive. And I should have grabbed one more strip here, but I think we'll make it. It will be fine. Yep, it'll be good. So then um, the way I lined these up, it is um, four strips. Now, certainly you could cut them a little bit different and get more or fewer. Isn't that fun? It came, it, it was in my head. I don't know if that's a thing or not. <laughs> It is now because I thought of it in my brain and I'm so I'm so pleased with how it came together because um, like I said it's this stamp set in particular you feel like you, when you look at it it can only do so many things so when you, when you get creative with it you find oh my gosh there are so many possibilities here 
Um, all right, so then I go back to the soft seedling stamp set and then the thinking of you. And then I'm just going to stamp that. I love the font in the stamp set too. It is so stinking pretty. Thanks for the love, everybody. <laughs> all right, so we've got the garden green sentiment. And then we'll bring in our, I am, I am a linen threadaholic. Um, some of you may know that about me. But I like to put lots of linen thread on my projects. It's one of those um, products from the catalog that I order almost every time I place an order because I just don't ever want to run out. All right, so we've got that happening. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And the other thing about this um, stamp set is that I struggle to use white with it. Um, I don't know why, but vanilla, I'm, I'm drawn to vanilla when I use this particular um, stamp set. All right, so then we're going to add this. I like to often, not always, but often, use a darker cardstock for my border right um, outside of the vanilla or the white. And then we'll do an old olive card base. Oh my gosh, so much fun. I love doing unique things with paper. <laughs> the other day I was um, stamping and, and someone was in the room with me and I'm like, I love paper crafting. <laughs> you can do so many things with ink and paper that you just, um, it just drives you wild. So yeah, thank you, thank you. And the other thing that you chose to use were the rustic metallic adhesive back dots. So I'm gonna grab those and we're, we'll just add them randomly throughout the card. And I'm going to go to the little guys. And yes, I got more sticky for my, for my uh, take your pick tool here. I'm just gonna spread the love. I am going to put a big one on here. And then we'll just add those in a few different spots here. Ugh, thanks. And you know what else? It's not hard, Sharon. It is not hard. You saw how easy that was to put together. And remember now, I've got my other strips. I don't know where they went. <laughs> but I've got my other strips of um, vanilla that I cut from in between here that are a little bit thicker that we could use to make another one. So super fun. I love the idea of using the two different greens. I think that was um, kind of a win there as well. Mm -hmm. 